Oh, no. What's happened? Whoa. I see the wind's picked up. It's OK, Little Red Tractor. It's only me. I'm having a bit of trouble getting the barn doors open. That was a bit of a squeeze. I hope you're feeling strong this morning. That's it, little red tractor. Nice and gentle. Push harder this time. Good work. Right, we'd better get these bales tidied away before they do any damage. Then let's get the corn up to Stumpy's as soon as we can. You know, I'm not sure about this washing line of yours, Stumpy. It'll be fine, Alice. Besides, you were the one who insisted on washing all me clothes at once. That's why the washing line had to be so long. Well, I'm not letting my husband walk around in dirty clothes. You were filthy. <laughs> I was clean enough. Oh, how long's this gonna take? I gotta get the milling done for Mr. Jones, and Stan's coming round with his corn soon, too. Oh, keep your shirt on. With this gusting wind, your clothes will be dry in no time. I'm really not sure about this. Just a bit further. There. Now to get that corn up to the mill. The wind really is strong. At least it does have some benefits. The wind will turn the mill faster and grind our corn to flour quicker. That way we can get paid by the bakery before the end of the day. If we're lucky. <laughs> See? When Stumpy the Miller does something, he does it right. Uh-oh. Sounds like the brake's gone. Now then, what were you saying about Stumpy the Miller doing things right? No. <sighs> well, that's really jammed the sails. I won't be milling anything today. No. And my washing's not going to be dry neither. Oh, well, I'd better go after me clothes. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere in just your undies. I'll go and find your clothes. Oh. Else, you better take Nipper. My pants could be halfway to Babblebrook by now. <sighs> That's the lot. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry. The trick to riding Nipper is to hold on. You know, maybe I should walk, after all. Oh, don't be daft. You'll get the hang of it. Now, to accelerate, twist the right-hand grip and, and... And to stop, the brake... Elsie! The, the brake... The brake's on the left-hand side! Oh, oh, dear. Despite that wind, it's a beautiful day for a drive. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Whoa! That was a close one. Well done, little red tractor. Nice stop. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Now, what on earth is going on? This is Stumpy's hat. I guess these must be his too. Let's go and find out what's going on. Stumpy! Why is Stumpy wearing a dress? Oh, my. Oh, I've only just washed this. Stumpy, are you all... Elsie? But what? Oh, Stan, it's a long story. Are you OK? Oh, 
I'm fine, but my Stumpy has gotten himself into a bit of a pickle back at the mill. He could do with a hat. Anything to do with these? How did you ever guess? We were on our way up to the mill anyway. We'll see what we can do. I just got to have a little word with Nipper, and then we'll see you up there. See you later, then. Now then, you. This stopping business. Stan! Stan! Oh, oh, am I glad to see you two. I heard you had a spot of bother. Windmill's stuck. There'll be no milling today unless we can unstick it. All I was trying to do was get me clothes dry. Perhaps I shouldn't have tied the washing line to the sail. Oh, I think I can see what the trouble is. Well, can, you, can you fix it? Of course. That's if Little Red Tractor is up for a bit of hard work. Right, let's get started. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you, so will you please stop messing about and start working? Why, you... Hello, Stumpy! Oh, that's a nice dress. Uh, now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Why, you little... There. OK, Little Red Tractor, let's slowly take up the slack. Oh, I hope this works. That a boy. It's moving. It's moving. Come on, little red tractor. Oh, oh not again. Well done, you two. Good work. Yes. Good work, little red tractor. Working like clockwork. <laughs> I'll go and put the brake back on. At least some of your clothes are dry. Oh, thanks. Perhaps I can get on with my work now. <laughs> Left leg. <laughs> right leg. Well, I'll give you a hand if you like. And up. Oh, will you, Stan? That'd be a great help. <laughs> I'd never get it done on my own. Perfect. <laughs> I knew you'd get the hang of it. Well, if that's what you call... Oh, Stumpy. Now, don't make me go and change else. Stan and I have got work to do. Come on, Stumpy. Roll up your sleeves and let's make a start. A lot. <laughs> Thanks, Stan. That'll make a lot of good bread, that will. It sure will, but that was hard work. Are you all done? Yep. Then my work can begin. Oh, you don't mean... I do. <laughs> you too, Stanley. Hey? <laughs> don't look at me. You should try living with her. Oh, oh this is much better. There's no chance of you blowing away, Little Red Tractor. Here we go. I think this is the trouble. Hold still, Little Red Tractor. If I loosen the alternator and shift it down... That's got it. I think we'd better get down to the garage and get a new fan belt, just in case. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Let's go. Hello, Mr Jones. Morning. Ooh. That's well timed. I'm ready to get started on Big Blue straight away. Marvellous. Oh, and don't forget, Nicola, after the service, he needs a jolly good spruce up. No problem. Needs to look tip-top so I can get the best price possible. Best price? Uh, you're not thinking of selling him, are you? Precisely. I'm getting a new one. What? You can't! I can. Now, looky here. 
It's the latest model, the 501. And Big Blue's a great tractor. And he's more than just a tractor, he's part of our community. It's the 501. It's like selling a friend. What if we sold you, Mr Jones? We wouldn't get much. Oh, I should have guessed you wouldn't understand. I mean, just look at this place. It's avoided progress for years. Now, hold on. You have to move with the times. And talking about moving, I must get on. I say, any chance of a lift home? Hmm? Hello, Mr. Jones. Where's Big Blue? Hello, Stan. No, he's at the garage, getting a spruce up ready for tomorrow. It's all rather exciting, actually. Why, what's happening to Big Blue tomorrow? Getting rid. <laughs> You're getting rid of Big Blue? Yes. Look. It's the latest model, the 501. Oh, oh, Big Blue's a good tractor. He's almost new. Oh, never mind. I should have realised, given the age of your old tractor, that you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Look, I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, any chance of a lift? No? Don't worry, big guy. We won't let him sell you. Hello, you two. Hi. I guess you've heard the news. We can't let him do it, Stan. I know, but Big Blue is Mr Jones's tractor after all. If only we could make Mr Jones realise what a special tractor he's got. That's it. Walter, you're a genius. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> I've got a plan, but we're going to need everyone's help. Are you in? Yep. You betcha. <laughs> What's the plan, Stan? Walter? You need to hide Sparky, then hide yourself. We'll pretend you're out on a job and... Oh, wow! Oh. Hmm. Look, thanks for coming, Stumpy. There's not much I can do on my own without Big Blue. Where is he today? Um, he's... I don't want to make Stumpy mad at me, too. I need his help. Um, well, he's on holiday. Holiday? Yes, um, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Oh, it's all right for some. <laughs> right, what do you want doing? Aha! Right, um, thought we'd start with the ploughing. I reckon this will be the perfect spot to put our plan into action. It should be nice and safe. Hardly anyone comes up here anymore. Hmm. That log may be a bit too heavy. Well, OK, let's give it a go. It will certainly be more of a challenge when Big Blue gets here. That should do it, Stumpy. Right, yo. Chop, chop. Oh, it's no good. It's not budging. I do believe Big Blue would have had half the field ploughed by now. Hmm. Well, I guess you won't be needing our help anymore, then. So, we'll get off home and... Uh, no, 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 no. Of course I need your help. I know. What if we raise the plough? That way it won't be dragging along the ground. Oh, good idea. There. Uh, Mr Jones? Yes? Don't think that's helped. <sighs> no. Here we go. A brand new air filter. Right, I'm off to put my part of the plan into action. Off to hide Sparky. What a plan. What a plan. Oh, don't worry. Stan's plans never fail. There we go. OK, little red tractor. Get ready. Now, heave. Come on, little red tractor. Well done. Great job. All we have to do now is get Mr Jones. Uh, uh, I'm not sure this is such a great idea. Of course it is. If we move the damp bales from the bottom out into the sunshine, they will dry out in no time at all. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Good job, Nipper. <laughs> Stronger than you look. <clears throat> um, help! Oh. Uh, <clears throat> I guess you were right, Stumpy. Not such a great idea. Should I ask? Best not. 
Can someone please get me out of here? No problem. Little Red Tractor and I will have you out of there in no time. Oh, Mr Jones, I need your help. There's a tree blocking the track through Tawny Owl Wood. We tried to move it, but Little Red Tractor's not strong enough. I'm sure Big Blue wouldn't have had a problem shifting it. Well, I was hoping the two of you would be able to clear the track. I mean, if there was an emergency and someone wanted to get through... Of course, in an emergency, no one could get through. There's no time to lose. Exactly. I'll get Big Blue. Don't worry. We'll save the day. What? I thought Big Blue was on holiday. Holiday? Yeah, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Come on, let's get you out of there. I think you must have bumped your head. Nicola! <laughs> Need Big Blue immediately. It's emergency. Emergency? Yes, emergency. Big Blue and I. Only ones who can come to the rescue. Really? Ah, uh -huh. Stan's little tractor's too feeble. Uh, oh. Well, I've just finished. Look, he's ready to go. Marvellous. Come on, Big Blue. Good luck. Cheerio! <laughs> Looks like Stan's plan started to work. Nice and easy, little red tractor. Oh, oh, oh. oh, thanks, Stan. Any time. And thank you too, Little Red Tractor. We're going to see how Mr Jones is getting on. Are you coming? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I've had quite enough excitement for one day. Here we go. That's it, Mr Jones. You can do it. Of course we can. Come on, Big Blue! Aha! Marvellous! Well done, us! Did you see that, Stan? Good job. That was a very heavy log. Oh, it was a breeze. Big Blue is so strong and with me at the wheel. <laughs> what a team! Hmm. It's too bad you're getting rid of him. Oh, no. Change of plan, you see. Can't break up the winning team, can we? And the 501? Well, I think that everyone was right. Big Blue is more than just a tractor. I don't expect you to understand, but, um, well, I've really become very fond of him. You mean he's more like a friend than just a tractor? Exactly. That's it. A friend. Oh, I understand all right. I'm sure I don't know where I'd be without my friend, Little Red Tractor. I've got you polished so brightly I can see my face in you, Little Red Tractor. Not a pretty sight. <laughs> Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Hello, you two. Just in time. In time? What for? For a ride on Little Red Tractor's trailer. Great! Yeah! Good. Well, I've got to take some milk to Mr Jones, so you've come just at the right time. That's a lot of milk for one day, isn't it? Yeah. We usually only have three pints. <laughs> oh, he needs a lot of milk for making cheese with. OK, hop on and let's get on with our milk delivery. What's that? This, Thomas, my boy, is what is going to win me second prize at the Babblebrook Cheese Festival. Second prize? But, well, who's going to win first prize, then? Well, me, of course. I've created a new blue cheese. Blue cheese? <laughs> it's not blue all the way through, Thomas. It just has bits of blue in it where the special mould forms. Mould? The... You mean you make mouldy cheese on purpose and... and people eat it? Not only eat it, Thomas, but relish it. Savour it. Mwah. Here, try a piece. Pwah, what a bomb! <laughs> oh, no, this is delicious! <laughs> Think I'd rather eat smelly old socks. Morning, Mr Jones. Got that milk you... Wow! That's a cheese and a half. I am rather pleased with it. 
And since you're here, Stan, perhaps you could help me get it onto Big Blue's trailer. <laughs> Be glad to. Blue cheese? Yeah. The blue bits are mouldy. Uh, who'd want to eat mould? Not me. Hey. Why don't you come and play at our house? Mum's making normal cheese sandwiches for lunch. Oh, yes, please! Jones here. Speak to me. Ah, Walter! Some of my cheddar? Oh, yes. Be glad to drop some round, yes. But I'll have to be quick. Important cheese business to attend to. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, OK. See you later. Uncle Jasper, can I go and play with Ryan and Amy? Yes, yes, yes. Go, go. I... I... Uh, I mean, as, as, as long as your mother doesn't mind, Amy. <laughs> no, she'll be fine. We'll just get the milk down and then I'll take you to Rose Cottage. Walter! Walter! I've got your cheese! Nicola! Walter! Anyone at home? Um, looks like a milk. Dear Mr Jones, I'm going to take Nicola to friends. Sorry if I missed you. Your friend Walter. P.S. Don't forget the cheese. Well, it's the only reason I came here, Walter. Here it is, and a spot of Babelbrook blue for him to try as well. <laughs> well, that's what I call a cheese. Now, yeah, Walter, cheese as ordered, and a little surprise. <laughs> You sure you won't stay for lunch, Stan? Very kind of you, but I need to go and get some fuel for Little Red Tractor. Besides, I had a big breakfast this morning. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go. Hello? Anyone at... Oh. What a smell! Walter? Walter? Hello, mate. Oh, you've not been waiting to... Oh, Stan? It's nothing to do with me or my socks. Phew! Phew's right! I wonder. It couldn't be the drains, could it? Smells bad enough. Perhaps I should take a look. But that'll mean digging them up. I know, but this stench will put me out of business. Here, lend me a hand, will you, Stan? Well, OK, Walter. Thanks, mate. Hmm, time's getting long. I suggest we take a shortcut, Big Blue. Hey, hey! This is the life I never! <laughs> you are! Oh, 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 oh. What? Look out, Nipper! <laughs> Faster, Nipper! Faster. Oh, look, it's Stumpy. What's that behind him? Oh, my. Look out, Stumpy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, no. Are you all right, Stumpy? Oh, just fine, thank goodness. I'll just... <laughs> I think I'm stuck. What's Stumpy doing in the greenhouse? He's stuck. <sighs> well, well. Poor Stumpy, imprisoned by a cheese. <sighs> Better go and get some help, then. Still no sign of anything. And the smell's just as bad. Oh, don't I know it. Oh, Stan, spot a bother back home. Stumpy's stuck in the greenhouse. Big cheese blocking the, uh, the, uh, the, uh... Ooh, I know, the smell's getting worse. <laughs> Well, I know my trainers are a bit on the whiffy side, but I didn't realise they were that bad. Sorry. No, Mr Turvey, it's... Still no time to worry about that. Give them a wash when we sort Stumpy out. The trainers, that is. Right now, we need you and Little Red Tractor to give us a hand with the cheese. Ah, bit of a problem, Mr Turvey. Little Red Tractor won't be able to get across the trench we've dug. Yes. Was meaning to ask you about that. Walter, have you got a couple of stout planks? <laughs> OK, Little Red Tractor, steady as you go. That's it. Easy does it. Made it. OK, now to deal with this cheese. That's it, Stumpy. Have you out in no time now. Good! It's getting hot in here. Oh, thanks, Stan. Thanks, Little Red Tractor. 
I should think you could do with a nice cold drink, Stumpy. Oh, <laughs> not half. And how about you, Stan? Thanks, but I've got to get back to Walter. And I think that belongs to Mr. Jones. Afternoon, Walter. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Jones. What's up? Someone has stolen my prize cheese. I was taking it to the cheese festival, and when I got there, it was gone. Walter, what are you up to? Digging up the drains. I'm trying to find out what's making that horrible pong. Horrible pong? Walter, that is the unmistakable aroma of Babblebrook Blue. You what? My new cheese. I dropped a spot of it around to you, but you were out. I put it on the... Uh, oh. Ah, here we are. You mean that... That smell is... is cheese? Four. Babblebrook Blue. <laughs> My big cheese. Yes, your big cheese. It must have rolled away. Caused quite a... Oh, quite a bit of... <coughs> bother. Walter, the smell's getting worse. At least we know now what it is. It is that. It was his smelly cheese, all that digging for nothing. Well, I do seem to have been the cause of a certain amount of, um... Well, sorry. Uh, perhaps I can help you fill the trench, Becky. No, no, no! <laughs> Please, just go away and take your cheese with you. It's making my eyes water. Fine, I know when my cheese is not appreciated. Here you go, Stan. No, I mean... <coughs> um, I... Well, I thought... Oh, oh, I thought Little Red Tractor and I would drop your big cheese to the festival for you. No, oh, thank you. And I can't really carry that blue cheese oh, and drive at the same time. Not to worry. I left a big slice of it on your kitchen table earlier. Hmm. Perhaps I should have put it in the fridge. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm the chili home! Oh, no. They must have stunk out my whole house by now. Looks like I'll be spending the night with you in your barn, little red tractor. <laughs> <laughs>